What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Cherry, and welcome back to Life of Cherry. Today, I'm here with a super dope small business collab with my boo, Naturally Simone, right here on YouTube. Simone is a budgeter and a business boss babe, just like myself. She recently launched her own nail line called Preston Applied, and we are teaming up because, <laughs> I mean, why not? Two women who are about their coins and small business is always a win. Plus, we have a dope giveaway where two lucky winners will be chosen. One will receive their own copy of my savings challenge binder, and the other will receive a set of Simone's custom nails. In order to enter, you must be subscribed to both of our channels as well as follow us on Instagram and answer this question in the comment section below. Here's the question for the entry, you guys. If you could create your own small business, what would it be and why? All details are in the description box. Good luck to everyone. Winners will be announced on October 25th. All right, you guys, so now let's get to the main course of the video. This is a pack orders with me video. Um, actually, I'm going to be showing you guys a behind the scenes look of how I put together my budget binders. And I'm just starting out here, you guys, by cleaning my surface. I don't care if you're selling paper, if you're selling cosmetics. I don't care if you were selling air boo. You want to make sure that you always clean your surface. You sanitize your hands. Like a clean environment just makes just makes the process, in my opinion, go smoother and more effortless. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here, you guys. Um, if this is the first time you're hearing my voice, you're here on my channel, please join the family, join the team, and hit that subscribe button. Over here, I'm all about money, business, and motivation, boo. And this video, as you know, is all about the business. So yeah, I'm just right now, yes, you guys, very tedious and time consuming. Your girl is marking a one inch mark on her lamination paper. So when I put the papers in that will be laminated they have um the appropriate amount from the corner to where the paper is so i can punch holes in it i hope that's making sense but with this mark right here i'm able to punch holes evenly in every single paper that gets laminated Thank you to everyone who has been supporting my small business. If you don't know, I have an Etsy shop called Life of Cherry. And in that shop, I sell everything to help you on your budgeting journey. I sell PDF files to help you stay organized with budgeting. I sell um, savings challenge binders, which I am putting together here, you guys. And we will be starting this um, binder in December. We will all start together with the no spend challenge. And I also have other budgeting things like calculators, pens, and things of that nature. So if you haven't checked out my Etsy shop yet, you guys, please head over to my Etsy shop and check it out. And also throughout this video, I'm just going to be showing y'all some of the music I'll be listening to. All right, you guys, I don't plan on talking through this whole video, so cue the music.
right, you guys. Now I'm just going to show you each challenge quickly. I'm going to go through them. The $5 savings challenge. This is the, oh Lord, I don't got my glasses on. <laughs> you guys can see this is the vacation challenge. Um, all of these challenges that I am showing you guys are in the savings challenge binder. There are 12 challenges with two to three variations of each challenge, you guys. So even though there are 12 physical um, challenge pages, if you do each challenge, including the variation to each challenge, you easily have 24 to 36 challenges that you can do in this binder. So now right here, you guys, I'm just taking the paper, which I didn't show you guys. I printed out my paper. Yes, your girl is printing out these pages at home. And then I have to cut the pages to get it to be this size to fit inside of the A5 binder. So I didn't show you guys that part, but yeah. Um, I did that off camera and now I'm just putting my papers inside of what you just saw me laminate with that one inch line. Alright, so back to putting my papers in the laminating sheets. And let me just tell you guys, give your girl some credit. Give me some credit. Since releasing my savings challenge binder, I have over 100 orders, you guys. And it's me. And me. And me. <laughs> Nobody else. I am creating every single page. I am punching every single hole. I am laminating papers, customizing the front of binders, shipping orders. I spend 10 hours a day, you guys. I can't make this up. I spend 10 hours a day working on my small business. It's no joke, okay? On top of me still being a mom, okay? My daughter has her own obligation she's in dance class now okay so your girl is booked and busy but give me more credit you guys i really take my time my energy my effort to put out the best product possible and if you order something from my etsy shop you guys it always lets you know prior to ordering how long it may take an item to ship so um if you're ordering this binder and it says it's a two week shipping time or a week shipping time or however long it says it'll take to ship you guys then know that i am working on your order and there are other orders before yours I have some people order their binder on Monday and on Thursday they're sending me, sending me messages like hey what's going on with my order I'm like boo you got 20 people ahead of you you got you got to wait your turn so you guys having a small business is no joke but I wouldn't change it for the world <laughs>
for those of you still watching this video thank you for rocking with me we are almost at the halfway mark but you see it's very this video is sped up there's a lot of stuff cut out but this is a very very time consuming and tedious process that i am doing so off camera i printed out the pages i've cut them to a5 size on camera you see me put my one inch mark lines put the paper in the lamination sheets and now your girl is just going to laminate the paper and you guys if you haven't entered the small business collab giveaway then pause this video and make sure you answer the question in the comment section now which is if you could start your own small business what would it be and why um having a small business has been the most rewarding thing that i've ever done you guys like honestly it feels so good to know that even though it's 10 hours a day, boo, I'm putting in more work here than I am at a nine to five. But it's so re rewarding to know that everything that's coming to life, everything that's being created, it's it's my ideas. It's my hard work. It's I'm working to build up my brand, myself, my career. Instead of working at a company, no shade to anybody working a nine to five, boo, because I, I worked a nine to five. I worked in a school for over 10 years. So I, I know something about punching in and out, okay? But it just feels so good that now I'm working on my dream, on my brand, and not helping, you know, my boss build up their dream and their brand. So that is definitely one of the benefits and perks of having a small business. Now on to some other news you guys. This don't have nothing to do with the video, but I mean, since this video is so long, I might uh, I might as well, you know, update you guys on some other stuff going on. So, your girl hasn't put out a cash stuffing video and who knows how long. And the reason for that is oh, and really quickly, all I did was add my laptop so when I do put the paper in the lamination machine, when it comes out, it could come out nice and straight. What was happening is when I was putting the paper in, there was nothing to catch it. So it was like falling downward and then um, coming out the lamination machine. And my paper was coming out with a lot of um, bends and folds in it. And that's not going to cut it, boo. So putting this laptop there, it just made it even so the paper could slide straight across but like i was saying you guys i haven't put out a cash stuffing video because i was redoing my binder system it took longer than anticipated to get the envelopes that i ordered i end up making my own envelopes then i released these um budget binders you guys and the same week i released the binders your girl was down for the count i had lost my voice so everything is kind of backed up on my page on my channel and you know i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna do a cash stuffing very soon you guys and this might be the large cash stuffing that i've done on my channel because although i haven't been putting the videos out i have been taking the amount needed to cash stuff and putting it to the side the problem with that though is that i've also been dipping into those funds it's a mess but we're gonna get back on track you guys like we definitely will get back on track so thank you to everyone who's been rocking with me who's been supporting me who's been it's not even about if you purchase something from my shop you guys if you did thank you but you know even if you just watch my videos interact with me in the comment section following me on twitter um not twitter oh your girl don't got twitter if you see a life of cherry on twitter boo it ain't me okay follow me on instagram and on tiktok you know i appreciate all of all of that but you know i'm kind of backed up with some of the stuff that i have going on and there's so many people who want to sponsor my videos, you guys. I have some, let me just tell y'all, I have some dope sponsored videos coming out. And I always think about you guys when I'm making a deal. Like, wait a minute, what's in it for my subscribers? Wait a minute, can we get a coupon code for them? Wait a minute, can we get um, something to give away for free for them? So I'm always thinking about you guys when I'm making these deals. And I have a lot of sponsorship deals on the table. And your girl, your girl is just one person. I'm just trying to find a way to balance out everything but i'm just letting y'all know like we're not slowing down we're gonna keep going and we're gonna speed up and we're gonna come and take over and conquer because we are serious about saving getting our money together all 2021 and beyond becoming boss babes boss booze if you a man okay you know just building ourselves up and doing doing what we supposed to do out here that's it all right your girls are chatty patty enough of me talking cue the music <laughs>
Okay, you guys. So now that I'm done laminating all the pages, I have to now cut them to the to the appropriate size so they can fit um, properly inside of the A5 binder. So here I'm just cutting the bottom nine inches, whoop, right off the bottom. Then on the right hand side, eight inches. Yes, is it right? Swoop, right off the side. And ta da! You have a page completed. Now, you guys, I was tripping. After I did this, I didn't do this anymore. But as I am cutting each page with the um the paper cutter, when I am done, there is a little black mark that I use when I made my one inch line. I am erasing every single line off of the page as soon as I finish cutting it. And I'm like, boo, you know what? That was a waste of my time. And it was extremely time consuming when after I finished making all the pages, I use alcohol to clean it off anyways. So yes, I was doing that in this clip, but after this clip, your girl came to her senses and I stopped <laughs> and I stopped doing it because I was wasting my time and, and playing games with myself, okay? So yeah, you guys, that's all I'm going to be doing. And I hope you can see um, once I cut it on the side, the space that is there for me to now be able to punch the holes. And I am a very, very... Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. I, I'm I'm a perfectionist. Let's be quite honest. I am a perfectionist. I am a Virgo. One thing about one thing about Virgos is you we we like to look perfect from the outside in. Okay, boo. And when I was first making these pages, sometimes when I was putting the the holes in them, punching the holes, a little bit of the actual picture was getting hole punched and I didn't like that boo so when you look notice notice all the fine details of your binder when you receive it okay notice that every hole punch is only on the clear lamination part there are no holes punched on the actual page which it took me a minute to to get that part together but we we got it together and here we are so yeah you guys you're just going to see me continue to cut all the pages and if you don't know right here this is the um vacation savings challenge which is my favorite my second favorite one and i'm gonna start to save up for vacation i don't know maybe in january or february because next year we do plan on doing a lot of traveling you know going a lot of places the last two years because of the pandemic we were very um stagnant we didn't do much of anything i am from new york city so the most we did was go to our neighboring state, which is New Jersey, and things like that. We didn't do nothing too crazy. So, yeah. Alright, so now I'm finished laminating the pages. I have my edge cutter here. I believe that's what it's called. Or my corner cutter. My paper edger. Whatever you call it. And basically, it just takes your paper from being a sharp, you know, pointed edge to a rounded edge. And I am using the medium. I'm trying to show y'all. I still don't know if y'all really saw it. But yeah, your girl is using the medium punch. It has a small one, a medium one, and a large one. And I really love this because I feel like it just helps with the cleanliness of the edges of your paper. Although I am using a paper cutter machine um, device, um, wop bop loo bop. <laughs> Although I am using something to help me cut my lines, sometimes, you know, when you cut the lines, the lines might come out a little slanted still. You're going to have a straight slanted line, boo, okay? And when you have a rounded edge, it kind of makes it 
impossible for you to see the minor imperfections of the way you cut your paper. I promise you guys, that's something you won't notice. But me, hi, my name is Cherry and I'm a Virgo. Yeah, we need a support group out here for my Virgos, okay? But you know, with me being a Virgo, little minor fine details like that, I notice. And also cutting the edges or, you know, making the edges rounded, it prevents you from getting poked, stabbing yourself and things of that nature. Because boo, when you have those sharp edges, it could be used as a knife. You could take somebody out with it. So yeah, you're just going to watch me do that. And again, this is the Virgo in me. I am punching each edge two times. So if you notice, I'll do all four corners and then I'll keep spinning that paper and do all four corner corners again. I, let me tell you, I low key hired my boyfriend. I hired him but he wasn't getting paid. I was like, you, you look like a good worker. Come sit down. <laughs> I, I asked him to do this part for me, right? So he started, he was only punching each side one time and that bothered me so much that his ass was fired. I was like, move, let me do it myself. And he's like, yeah, I don't wanna have nothing to do with this small business because if anything goes wrong, he knows that his head is going to the chopping block. His ass is getting sent to the guillotine. But yeah, just to show you guys like, I really take my time when I'm doing this stuff. So, boo, stay out of my messages asking me about your order. I promise you're going to get it shipped within an appropriate time frame, and you're going to love it. You're going to be like, yes, Cherry. Sorry, I was trying to apply the pressure. Greatness takes time, boo. Okay? Yeah, you guys. So, that's all I'm doing here. Cue the music again. <laughs> So we just making something with a machine. I don't know. The, the machine is so cool. You want to see? Guys, look at the machine. Woo! It making letters. I mean, it making numbers. Mm -hmm. The machine can make whatever pictures you like. Letters and numbers too. If you haven't thumbs this video up yet, thumbs it up for my kid. Don't be a hater. Support the youth out here, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. So I was showing you guys the inside of how I make the pages for the binder. Now we're going to move on to the outside of the binder. And for that, we need to bring out the good old Cricut, okay? Let me just tell you a, a quick story. For the longest, I've been calling it a circuit. And people have been correcting me like, you know how you correct somebody, but you don't want to tell them they're saying something wrong. So I'm like, yeah, I got my circuit, girl. And they was like, yeah, the Cricut is a good machine and i'm like you're right that circuit is good <laughs> like you guys it is called the cricket if you don't know it is called the cricket so your girl is now making this is the color teal how i do my binders instead of doing each binder one at a time individually i will be here forever i just do all the same colors at one time so i go through my list okay 15 people order teal so boom we doing all 15 teal binders today okay boom five people order white so we're doing all five white binders today so you guys a lot of this has been cut out because i have to use a really really bright light to do this and i wasn't able to do so um i wasn't able to show you you will see in the next clip like how bright my light is so you're just gonna see me like all right boo that's not even the next clip and i'm not i'm not doing this voiceover part over but you're gonna see in a clip where i'm like um have the light on trying to show y'all me put placing the vinyl on the binder and stuff and it's just too bright so i had to cut that part out but yeah now you're gonna see up close and personal my machine doing what it does and we just gonna watch it and go from here all right let's get the music going let's go <music>
Woo! And all this time later, you guys, here is a finished binder. So this is a binder made for Princess. Hi, Princess. Hope you love your binder. And she ordered hers with white. And it just has the dollar sign in white. And it says, even though that wasn't Princess's binder, you guys can see. Now, the final step for me for these binders to be completed, you guys, I go through each and every page. I just have a little bit of alcohol on um, a paper towel. And I just wipe down each page. When using your binder, boo, that's how you will clean your pages. You can use alcohol on your page to clean it. And when using this binder, boo, Make sure you use a dry erase marker, not a permanent marker, because boo, I said so, okay? <laughs> Get you a dry erase marker. No, it's, it's less of a hassle and a headache when doing these challenges, erasing them and so on for it. And a permanent marker, although most times it can come off with alcohol, there is a possibility that it will stain your pages and you will not be able to remove what you put on there. So use a dry erase marker, okay? You will not be seeing me pack this order to ship, but if you would like to actually see me pack an order so you can see what I put in my packaging, then let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for rocking with me, supporting me. I tell you guys all the time, without you, I am nothing here on YouTube. Without you, I am nothing as a small business owner. You guys are the real MVPs. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like this video. Turn on your post notifications and of course hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to enter into me and Simone's giveaway as well. Bye guys. Have a great day.